So Cookie's waiting there for Santa, okay? Okay. And Santa will see what he can do. You have a Merry Christmas now. Everybody <coughs> read the dairy. Thank you. And what about Louise? Are you there in Covington? Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Louise. Santa loves you so much. Wave hi, Rudolph. Hi, Louise. Hi, Grandpa. Can we get a camera on the cool goo? Because that was a cool goo to wave to Louise. Hi, Grandpa. Yeah, we love you, Louise, out there in Covington. Now, Louise, very special gift you want. Okay, well, Santa, see what he can do. You have a Merry Christmas now. Santa loves you. And what about you, Tiffany, from out in Brittany on Independence? Tiffany and Brittany in Independence. Hi, Santa. Hi, how are you? Is it Tiffany? Yeah. How old are you, Tiffany? Five years old. Five years old. Oh, Tiffany, Santa's so tickled to see you. He wants to wave to you and Rudolph will wave to you. You have a Merry Christmas now, okay? Now, guess you what? Too. Santa's going to ask all you kids to watch your television screens closely because he is going to pay a special visit to the Colony Senior Citizen Home where Santa sang a little song. Okay, here we go. Wave bye. <laughs> would break 
And this was given to the Christ child, representing his humanity, that this is Emmanuel, God is with us. We also have all of creation getting into the manger scene. We have the animals present. The donkey uh, carried Mary to Bethlehem. And of course, carrying Mother uh, Mary, the donkey was also carrying Jesus at that time to the scene here in Bethlehem, to the manger scene. We also have the other animals, the sheep and all the other animals in the manger scene also. And this represents that God is uh, creator of all animals, plants, the earth, in fact, the entire universe. We also have a star entering into the manger scene. It was the star that guided the um, wise men to Bethlehem. And this shows that God is in charge of all creation, not just things here upon the earth, but that he is in charge of all creation throughout the entire universe. This star was nudged by the hand of God to indicate to the wise men from the east just where they might be able to find Jesus. And finally, let me say that Santa Claus, in a real sense, gets into the manger scene also. Because Santa Claus represents to us the spirit of giving. And we see the spirit of giving by God to mankind in the giving of his only begotten son to the world. So Santa Claus represents the spirit of giving. And God first gave his son for us that we might have eternal life with him. And Santa Claus in that way represents the true spirit of giving. Santa Claus, what do you think of this? Well, Santa Claus is really thrilled to hear all of this information about the true meaning of Christmas. And you know something? Since Santa Claus now has heard the true meaning of Christmas, he wants to always pass out this special little word. we got some little kids down here, so Santa Claus can't walk over top of them, but you can get a shot right here at Santa Claus because, you know, there's a couple of special things he needs to talk about. And one of those things is that over here in and they're telling you they got a train ride, and Santa's going to be going on that train ride this afternoon when he leaves the show here. So any kids that want to come down and have a special train ride on the old historic train here can do so with Santa about 1230 or to 230. And a special little thank you for all of the manger scene for the folks to come and visit with us today. And before the manger scene leaves, Santa wants to ask the boys if they can sing a special little song. What about that, boys? Can you sing the Away in the Manger song? Can we turn the music on for the Away in the Manger song? Well, let's keep, the, let's keep you guys out here for just a minute while we sing a verse of this song.
our guest, Reverend Hammond, out at the Amity Baptist Church in Cherokee Acres, out on Taylor Mill Highway, and our and our famous and and we really appreciate the Emmanuel United Methodist Church allowing all of their volunteer helpers to come down and help us. You know, it's good Christian people that Santa really, really loves to deal with. And you know something? It's that Christian way of life, that little sparkle in each eye, that helps all of us to be better human beings. So Santa will let you all leave now, and then he's going to take some phone calls. So we'll see you all later, and wish you great success on your live manger scene out at the Lakeside Park at the Emmanuel United Methodist. Now, guess what? Santa has got some more phone calls to take, and I don't know how much time we got left, but that number is 261-1300, but I'm sure all those lines are filled now. Let's go to Aaron in Covington. Aaron, are you there? Hi. Well, hi, Aaron. What would you like to have for Christmas? I want Bobby toys and toys and games. Is that right? Yeah. Well, Santa, we'll see what he can do for you, okay? Okay. Santa will do the best he can. I love you so much now. I do. Bye-bye. Oh, Way, Rudolph. And you know, up here, while we're getting ready to take the next call, we've got a couple of kids here. And what's this young man's name? Michael. Is this Michael Noakes? Oh, I've heard a lot of good things about Michael Noakes. Bless his heart. Can you say hi? Santa loves you. And this is Zach? And Zach, what would you like to have for Christmas? Oh, well, Santa, see what he can do, okay? Listen, now we got another phone call to take. What about, uh, is, uh, let's see, Chad from Independence? Hi, Chad. Hi. What would you like for Christmas, Chad? Bye, Mr. Well, Santa, see what he can do. Santa loves those kids out there in Independence, Kentucky, that Kenton Elementary and Simon Kenton High School, you know and all the other schools across northern Kentucky, because you see, the teachers out there and all the schools are doing such a hard job, working job, to help teach all of our young kids, and you got to be in school, you got to practice, you got to learn, you got to do up in reading, like Diane, our reading instructor, says. Be sure and pick up those books on Saturday mornings instead of watching all those cartoons. Get you a good book and read it. That's what's important. What about Adrian in Ellesmere? Hello? Hi, Adrian. Hi. How are you? Hi. Santa loves you, you know. Can you give me a little ho, ho, ho? Ho, ho, ho. Ah, Santa loves you. Adrian, what would you like for Christmas? A pair of roller skates. Is that right? Uh -huh. Well, Santa will see what he can do, okay? Okay. You have a Merry Christmas now. You do. Okay, bye-bye. Ryan? Are you there? Yeah. How old are you, Ryan? Five. Five years old. Ryan, you're from Florence, aren't you? Uh-huh. Well, what would you like special for Christmas? I would like uh, some Nintendo games. Nintendo games? Two. Okay. Two games. Okay. Okay, and I would like uh, a new thing that you put your trolls in. Well, Santa will see what he can do, okay? Uh-huh. You have a Merry Christmas and have be sure and have some cookies and some milk waiting for Santa, okay? And Santa, see what he can do. And if any of you other kids are out there, Santa's telephone number is 261-1300. And if the lines are busy, Santa will try to get to you. And if he can't get to you this week, call him next Saturday from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, which will be our final show next Saturday, 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, here on Channel 815 in Kenton and Boone Counties and, and on 36 over in Campbell County and Newport. Now we're going to Ryan in Florence. Hi, Ryan. I think you got Kevin. Hold Kevin, on. how are you doing? That's You're okay, Kevin. Kevin. How old are you, Kevin? Two. Hi, Kevin. Down in Covington? Hi. Santa loves you, Kevin. You want anything special you want for Christmas? I want some phone truck. Oh, is that right? Well, Santa will see what he can do. Okay, Kevin? You have a Merry okay. Christmas. Okay, bye-bye now. <coughs> Hi. Uh, let's see, is Michelle there? Or is this Steve? Michelle. Michelle, you're from Newport, Kentucky, aren't you? Yeah. And Santa's so glad that you're calling him. I want to wave a special hello to Michelle from over Newport. Rudolph, and now let's say hello. 
You kids want to come on down here by Santa? Wave to Michelle. Yeah, we love you, Michelle. What special you want for Christmas? Don't we want roller skates? Okay. Well, Santa will see what he can do, okay? And you be sure to have some cookies and milk waiting for Santa. Now okay. we're going to have to say goodbye to everybody. Steve and Justin and Newport and Silver Grove. Hi there, and glad you called. Santa will get to you next week, okay? Santa loves you. Santa loves you. Come on. Seven five zero 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 zero. Dial seven five zero 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 zero.
That is so thrilled. Let's have a big hand for each other. What do you say? What do you say, Rudolph? Oh, boy, all the way from the North Pole, we flew down over Cincinnati and Indiana and northern Kentucky and landed here right at the Ken Boone, Ken Boone Cable Board office so that we can talk over store cables lines, and we want to thank them. Did you see me on TV? Oh, fantastic. I tell you what, can Santa ask all you kids to join him on the show today and sit down and come right over here and just start to sit down in this area right here? That's good. Right in here. And just have a seat. And face over here toward the couch, okay? Yeah, that's Rudolph there. Okay. And uh, I think we need to bring a couple of the boys. Can you boys come over here? With Santa right over here? Right up here against this little backdrop over here? Oh, Santa's so thrilled to see you. And you know, Santa wants to come and talk to all the kids of Northern Kentucky. Kenton, Boone, and Campbell Counties. And if you want to give Santa a call, this is the last Saturday he's coming down before Christmas. And we're going to show this tape after we've made it on Christmas Eve. And so we want to make sure we get all the messages. And if we got any kids out there that want to call us at 261-1300. 750-0000. And you know something, if you have to wait on the line for a while, just be patient. Because it's really important for Santa to know what all the different toys are that you want Santa to make for you all in the North Pole. So Santa's going to sit down here now. Do we have any callers out there yet? Well, let's see. Maybe we can take a call or two. Oh, my gracious, we got the lines filled. What do you think, kids? Isn't that something? Can Santa take a few phone calls? Well, let's go to Johnny in Newport. Johnny in Newport. It is a Johnny in Newport. How old is this, Johnny? Yeah. Johnny, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen years old. Well, Santa's so tickled to hear from you. Do you have a special toy that you want this Christmas? Uh, a remote control car. Well, Santa will see what he can do. You know, he can't make any promises, but Santa will do the best he can do. You have some milk and cookies waiting for him, okay? Yeah, uh, Santa? Yes? Can my little brother Jesse talk to you? Put Jesse on there real quick. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Santa loves you, Jesse. How old are you, Jesse? Five. Five years old. Oh, my gracious. Anything special you want for Christmas, Jesse? You want lots of toys? Well, Santa, see what Make he can do. Okay. Santa, see what he can do. Wave to Santa right now on television. Santa loves you. We're going on to Josh in Covington. Josh, are you there? Yeah. Well, Josh, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen years yeah. old. Well, Josh, is there anything special you want for Christmas? Yeah, race car set. Well, Santa, see what he can do. He can't... Well, can my sister talk to you? Yeah, put her on now. Okay. I see her on TV right now. Wait, I'm waving to you. Well, good. I'm waving to you, too, Josh. There she is. Yeah, nice to see you. Hi. Oh, did you want to wave to him? Yeah. Now, hi. Yeah, hi there. How are you? What's your name? Trasha. Trasha. Oh, Santa loves you so much. I'm so glad you called me, okay? Yeah. Santa will do this, Trasha. You know something? Bye. I'm going to do the best I can do to come over your territory. You be sure and have some cookies and milk waiting for Santa, okay? I will. Bless your heart. Santa loves you. Okay. You say your prayers now. Okay. Okay. Tell Rudolph I said hi. Say hi, Rudolph. <laughs> Wave. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, we have Ben and Erlanger. Ben, are you there? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Ben. I know a Benjamin out in Erlanger, too. His name's Benjamin Brander. This isn't Benjamin Brander, is it? No. Hi. Hi. What would you like for Christmas? What would you like for Christmas? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Well, Santa will see what he can do. You wave to Santa now, okay? And Santa, see what he can do. You have a Merry Christmas, all right? I want something else, too. Well, Santa will see what he can do. You take care now. Santa loves you. Okay. You got another call there? Oh, we got Angie from Fort Mitchell. Angie, are you there? Yeah. Oh, Santa loves you so much. Remember our lines, 261-1300. And Angie, what do you think special you want for Christmas? Um, don't let me go there. I want to get a mock and yogurt and 
Oh, my gracious sakes alive. Well, Santa will see what he can do, won't he? Mm -hmm. And Rudolph, can you help me make some of these things? It's going to be a real challenge. You know, we have to go down to Value City Furniture and see if they can make some of these objects for us. And we have to go over to Wilkinson Supplies. They made our beautiful toy soldiers for us and all of our decorations for this lovely set. We want to thank all those people that helped us out, put this set together for us here. Now we got Matthew. Oh, okay. You have a Merry Christmas and Santa loves you. Matthew? Bye. Are you there, Matthew? Yes. Are you from Taylor Mill? Yeah. Well, Matthew, I bet you you're about how old? Four? No, seven, eight. Eight years old? Yeah. Anything special you want for Christmas? A wrestling ball and a pinball machine. Oh, fancy. And a beanbag. Is that right? Well, we're making a lot of those up there. We can't make any promises, but we'll do the best we can do, okay? You have a Merry Christmas now. Santa loves you. Bye, Rudolph. Bye, Rudolph. Well, they like you, Rudolph. Bye, Santa. Bye-bye now. Now we're going to Jerry and Covington. Come here. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. Are you Bye. out there? Yeah. Well, how old are you, Jerry? Five. Five years old. Well, thank you for calling in. Anything special you want for Christmas? A race car. A race car? Mm -hmm. Well, Santa will do what he can, see what he can do, okay? Okay. You have a Merry Christmas now. Okay. Bye-bye. Santa loves you. I have a brother. Oh, you have a brother there? Yeah. What's his name? Sean. Sean? We'll put Sean on. Okay, here he is. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. How old are you, Sean? Huh? Well, you know what, Sean? I know it sometimes gets a little bashful about talking on the telephone, particularly when you're on television. So Santa will just talk to you. You say your prayers, and Santa will see what he can do to come and see you Christmas Eve, okay? Okay. You have a Merry Christmas now. We're going to go to Joe and Florence. Okay. Is Joe there? Or Bob? Hello. What about Bob? Are you there? Hello. Hello? Hello. Uh, Joe, are you there? Um, this is Joe's mom. Well, is Joe there? Can he talk? Um, well, he's only two. Only two. Well, let me say hello to him. Is he watching television there? Uh, he's in there in the bedroom, but what, I, what he wants for Christmas, most of all, is his daddy. Okay, well, you know something? Santa will say some prayers about that. You know, the most important thing in life with mommies and daddies is that they try to be there with their children in times of need. And oftentimes, you know, that's difficult. Sometimes we only have mom or we only have dad. But you know something? We've always got God, and that's really important because we can say our prayers and we know that God is there for us. And that's what the true meaning of Christmas is really all about because it's the birth of the baby Jesus. And that was giving us love. And you know, Santa loves to have helpers. And today he's got about 20 helpers from the Little Red Schoolhouse are his helper huggers. And you know what about hugging is? That's the art of giving love. So we all hold hands and we touch each other and we say, oh, I love you so much. And you know, sometimes when moms and dads aren't home, it's aunts and uncles and it's grandparents that have to give those hugs. And when you don't have mommy and daddy there, be sure and say that special prayer to God because he's always there with you and will never let you down. Right? Right. That's right, kids. So thank you so much for calling, and we'll say some special prayers. Bye. Now we're going to go to our magician, and guess what, kids? Bye. Santa has brought with him today a very special Bye. friend, and that special friend is Bye. Artie Kidwell. Artie Kidwell is our magician for Northern Kentucky. Come on in, Artie. Oh, great. Let's have a hand for Artie. Now, we're going to bring the microphone up, and we got to cut this line off here on number five. And we're going to bring our microphone up here and sit it right here so we can have it out here for Artie. Bring our boom mic up, and then Artie's going to give us some magic tricks here to show for the camera, and they want you kids to watch him too. Is that okay? Hi, my name is Artie Kidwell, like Santa said, and I'm Kentucky's greatest magician. Well, really, I'm Northern Kentucky's greatest magician. I guess if I was going to be real honest, I'd have to tell you I'm Earl Anger's greatest magician. But there's a thing where we got a lot of tricks where magicians will use silk scarves. 
and they'll take these silk scarves, wad them up into their hand, just like this, and show this hand empty. Then they'll wad them up over into this hand, really, really tight, and show this hand empty. And then a good magician will snap his fingers and pack his hand just like that, and the scarves will disappear. I can't do that trick. I never learned that one. I did learn the one, though, where you can take the little scarves and turn them into one great big one, just like that. Ta-da! Yes! Let's put it up here, because magicians are also flashy. A little overstated. Got another trick with scarves. Whoops! And if we were, weren't live, we'd say take two at this point. Where I've got some scarves like this, and I'm going to tie together a blue one and a red one. Sounds like this is pretty kind of back room. Put them together, and we'll tie them in a square knot just like this. This is the one thing I learned in the Boy Scout Fest at all. And we'll take these scarves, lay them there, and take this one, show it, and put it in the bag, and make it vanish right in front of your eyes. Just like that, shake the bag, and the scarf is gone. Whoops. Okay, well, sometimes that happens. Zip it up like this, and we'll put it inside the bag. And at the count of three, one, two, three, the silk scarf will vanish right in front of your eyes. One, two, three. Whoops. One, two, three. Who knows a magic word? Anybody know a magic word? Uncle? Uh-huh. Give me one. Tell me. Uncle what? Uncle George. Uncle George? Okay, that's a good magic word. Let's try it. One, two, three. Snap our fingers, open up and look. Yep. It's gone. Right in front of your eyes. Alan! Where did it go? Right there. Ta da! Isn't that great? That's Artie Kidwell, our great magician. You've got another trick there for us, Artie? Would you like to see another one, Sam? Yeah! All right. What about it, kid? Okay. Yeah. I've got a rope trick here. And they say that if you give a magician enough rope, he'll do a trick with it. And what I've got is three pieces of rope. A long piece, medium-sized piece, and a short piece. The story goes where a young boy walked into his father and said, Dad, I've got three pieces of rope, and they're all the same size. Dad said, how do you know? He says, well, because the ends are the same. So, well, how about if we take the ends and do this, and that way they really will look like they're all the same size. So his dad did that, or the boy did that, and said, there, Dad, I've got three pieces of rope. They're all the same size because all the ends are the same. Well, the father pointed out there was still a problem because while this looked good, this did not. You know, his father was a very famous magician.